The CDC is investigating 14 possible cases of Zika virus that may have been spread through sex. These new cases include two pregnant women, and Zika is suspected of causing severe birth defects. Here's Dr. John LaPook. Angelica Yulchi, who asked not to be seen, and her husband Dustin were living in Brazil last summer when Dustin was diagnosed with Zika. Angelica was pregnant. Earlier this month, doctors told them to practice safe sex. Since the doctor suggested us to use protection, yeah, we are going to use. The advice either to abstain from sex or use latex condoms during sex is now being given by the CDC to all pregnant women whose male partners have been to Zika-affected countries. On February 2nd, the first known case of sexual transmission of Zika virus during the current outbreak was reported in Dallas. With today's 14 suspected cases, the CDC is rethinking how the disease is spread. Jennifer McQuiston studies Zika at the CDC. With these new suspected cases that we're investigating, we've, we're really becoming more aware that sexual transmission may happen more often than we previously thought. Zika has been linked to microcephaly in newborns, abnormally small heads, and developmental delays. The virus remains in the blood for an average of about one week, but can stay in semen for much longer, 62 days in one case. There's no evidence of sexual transmission from women to men. Angelica is due in April, and so far, so good. Scott, you may be wondering why every day there's new information about Zika. Remember, 10 years ago, this infection was almost unheard of. Now it's exploding and being gang-tackled by the scientific community.